Hello everybody, welcome back. Thank you all for the grace last week uh, with the week off. I'm back, but we're still in the craziest couple of weeks of tax season, so I'm gonna keep this pretty short. Today we're talking about cleaning house and giving all of your stuff to Goodwill, Value Village, St. Vincent's, pick your charitable organization, um, and what those donations look like and whether it's even worth keeping track of them. So the first question is, is it worth tracking at all when you give that stuff to charity? And the first thing to look at is if you are itemizing. So remember that your standard deduction, if you're single, is a little under $14,000. If you're married, it's the, in the $27,000 range. And so if you are not paying on a mortgage, um, chances are good you're not itemizing at all. If you're paying on a old mortgage from forever ago with a low interest rate and not a very high balance, you're probably not itemizing. Um, if you're not itemizing, this deduction is not going to help you at all. If you are itemizing, just know that your benefit from this uh, will matter, will depend on your tax bracket. So you could be in the 10% tax bracket, you could be in the 37% tax bracket, but what that means is that for every $100 worth of stuff you're giving, the impact to your tax bill is 10 to $30. Um, so value your time accordingly. Because the things that you need to track document and make a list of what you gave. Take pictures, uh, but have that record of what you gave and when. Track where it went to. So when you take stuff to Goodwill, for instance, they will give you a receipt if you ask for one. It does not have any amounts on it. It's up to you to list, again, the date and what your stuff, what you gave and what it was worth. Which brings me to the next part, what was it worth? And this is a tricky question, right? Um, it's thrift shop value. So what could you re what could they resell your stuff for? Goodwill does have on their website a valuation guide. Um, so that can be helpful. But just remember that that's going to be a fraction of what you paid for it originally. Um, and how much you paid for it originally is the next thing that the IRS does ask on the form that's required to be filed with your tax return. So if this donation of stuff comes up to be $500 or less, you don't have to fill out the extra form. You can just take the deduction on your Schedule A itemized deductions. If you gave more than $500 over the course of the year, this additional form has to be completed that does ask for the organization's name and address where you gave the stuff, kind of a short description of what you gave, uh, what it was worth, what you paid for it, how you acquired it, um, and how you valued it. If you gave more than $5,000 worth of like stuff, so if you're valuing clothing, for instance, at over $5,000, you need to have an appraisal for that. Um, and you can't just say, well, I gave $1,000 of clothing every month all year. The IRS still says, no, wait a minute, you gave more than $5,000 worth of clothing. You needed to have an appraisal in order to take that deduction. So definitely be aware of that. There are some different rules if you give appreciated stock or art or vehicles. Those aren't the focus of today, just know that there are special rules for those. And we can dive into them later, and I know we did a previous video on donations as well that might be there. So, um, any questions? Let me know. Any topics for next time? Let me know that as well. Uh, in the meantime, have a wonderful week, and we'll see you again next week. Bye.